Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Aditya 11 Triple T. Today we are going to talk about WS on chip and its programming with the sockets which are available in the market. So you can see over here we have a WS on chip over here and there are two types of WS on chip depending upon the size. One is 8 into 6 mm and second one is 5 into 6 mm. I'll show you. Here you can see this side is 8 into 6 mm and this is 6 into 5 mm. So there are two types of chip. One is 8 into 6 mm and second one is 6 into 5 mm. This is a 8 into 6 mm chip over here with us. Okay. So depending upon the size you can use the socket or this is a single solution. This is a single PCB board which has been used for programming purpose. Now the thing is that these sockets are long lasting but this PCB board is not so long lasting because you have to solder and desolder again and again on this PCB board for programming this bias chip. So what we are going to do is we are going to demonstrate you with the help of this socket and this PCB board how to program this IC because we only have 8 into 6 mm chip. Apart from that the same procedure is to be followed for the other size chip that is 6 into 5 mm so we have a win bond chip over here that is uh, 3.3 volt and we will be using the socket with the help of svod3 for programming this chip so let's get started this is a win bond chip 256 you can see so we have two options to flash this chip first is this pcb board which we are going to use it then second one is this socket pcb board is cheaper option and it is not long lasting because after doing many times of soldering it will get damaged and you have to purchase again the new one second option is this socket you can use it many number of times like you have to just put the IC and flash it so first we are going to use this PCB board so I'm going to solder it the to the socket and then come back now before putting it into this board we have to make sure that this contact are being pre-solder with the lead so it has a lead on it that is a solder wire we will be using it and we will be soldering it over here from pin number one to pin number one you can also see over here it's very clear pin number one is mentioned over here so we will be using it pin number one to pin number one soldering okay so let me solder it and then we will check so we have added the solder over here to the pin I will show you you can see the solders ball has been created on the pin so that we are able to solder it properly and similarly we add solder to the pads of this board contact points so that it is easy to solder it on the board so I will go into solder it and get back to you again try to show you you can see the solder has been made so you can see over here the IC has been soldered on the board and pin number one is contacted to pin number one and now we are going to use SVOD to program this IC so let's go to the SVOD programmer now we are going to place it on the SVOD and going to program it so I have to put it on the SVOD first So we have put it into the SVOD. Now what we are going to do is we have to open the SVOD programmer interface. You can see we have opened the SVOD programmer interface. Now we have to go and select the SPI25 over here and press on read ID. 
you can see IC detects perfectly fine and you can also read and write the IC so here I try to read it is a MTE chip so you will get nothing from the IC inside data will be complete empty as this is a new chip now this was the first way now the second way to flash this IC is using the socket so let me remove this and this is the socket which we are going to use it so we are going to place this socket over here and close the latch the latch has been closed now I am going to open the socket so this side will be the pin number one side so I will be placing the chip according to that only this is the chip now pin number one will be on this side so I op take the chip and put it directly to the socket so you can see this is pin number one okay so we cl close it now we try to read the IC again and press on the read ID you can see IC has been detected and if you read it will be read okay so thanks for watching Aditya double one triple T YouTube channel do hit the subscribe button like share and comment if you want to purchase you can purchase we have two options over here the first one is this SPI socket which you have to solder it is not so long lasting but it is cheaper than the socket okay so whichever you like you can purchase it we have both in our stock if you want to purchase you can just contact us from the given number in the description below so thanks for watching Aditya double one triple t youtube channel do hit the subscribe button like share and comment thanks a lot so if you want to get the knowledge on bias modding you can just purchase our hindi edition all the videos are available already and uh, along with that there are many case studies as well as some videos theoretically on impedance and voltages are also there with the help of DSO how you can check the motherboard are also included on this videos the complete packages of around uh, 40 plus videos you can if you like you can just purchase them it is a full of knowledge you can enjoy the videos and it is a hundred percent money back videos your money will not be wasted for that so if you like to join our bias and schematics group you can also contact us for joining that as well as we also have a training program of laptop chip level advanced level if you like to join that you can also come and join that so thanks for watching aditya double one triple t youtube channel if you like our channel do hit the subscribe button like share and comment thanks a lot